Hello and welcome to our first July book review and we are getting back on track with our book reviews. You may have been expecting this first review to be Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. However, we are going to start with Twelfth Night by Alexine Farrell Falmouth as I know there are a lot of hold requests on this book and I want to get this book as quickly to the next person as I can. So it is YA contemporary fiction that is a loose retelling of Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. There are some elements of plays included in it, like the cast of characters in the beginning, which I really enjoyed. By Reyes is a 17-year-old high school student. She likes the TV show War of Thorns, and playing role-playing games, especially the online game Twelfth Night. She is not the most diplomatic person, however. She can be blunt, which has not made her popular at school. The fact that she's often underestimated because she is a female has made her quite angry. And when her friend, her best friend, chooses someone else over their friendship, Bai is left on her own. She plays the online game Twelfth Night, as I mentioned, but because of all the nonsense she encounters as a female playing an online game, she has created a masculine character, and most of the people that she plays with assume she is a male. Jack Orsino attends the same school as Bai. He's on the football team, he has a girlfriend, he's quite popular. But an injury leads Jack with time on his hands. And a friend suggests that he play the game Twelfth Night to use up some of that time. And inevitably, Jack and Vi encounter one another in the game and eventually team up. As they play, they talk and learn about one another's lives and experiences. However, Jack does not know who Vi is. But because of the screen name that Jack uses, Vi does indeed know who she is. In the July Reads video, I mentioned that this author also writes adult fantasy and fiction as Olive e. Blake and I love her writing, so you will be happy to know that I enjoyed this book as well. Some reviews that I've seen have commented that Bai is not a likable character, and she does have some annoying tendencies. However, as I've mentioned before, I think when we're annoyed by characters, we should ask ourselves why we're annoyed by them, and try to see in the story what has led the character, in this case Vi, to act the way that she does and be the way that she is. And a lot of times the details of the story will explain the character's action. And in this circumstance I think that is definitely the case. So what are some other books to read for a similar read today? I've got two of them for you and we're going to first choose a book that also includes role-playing games. And that is Even If We Break by Marieke Nijkamp. I first read the book in 2021 and I really enjoyed my reading experience. It's a mystery that incorporates elements of role-playing games into the story. Five friends go to a cabin to reconnect and play their role-playing game one last time before three of them head off to college. Four of them have secrets that they are trying to keep secret, but as the story progresses it becomes obvious that someone knows those secrets. Lately the friends have grown apart, but if they are going to survive the weekend they're going to have to learn to trust one another again. And the other book that I'm going to suggest is Check and Mate by Allie Hazelwood is a YA contemporary romance. And Allie Hazelwood is an author who writes contemporary romance that incorporates STEM subjects into the plot. This is her first YA book, and I think it's for the older YA group. So this time around, 
it is in the world of chess. Nolan is the chess champion. Mallory played years ago, but when it destroyed her family, she gave up the game. However, she does agree to play one last game for charity. And in playing that game, she beats Nolan, the current champion. And she is thrust back into the world of chess and into Nolan's orbit. And there we are. I hope that you enjoyed this look at Twelfth Night and other books to read for a similar experience. If you're interested, I would suggest you give this one or any of the other ones a read. I'm going to be back next week when we will talk about Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. Until then, I hope that you enjoy all that you do and all that you read, and I hope that you're enjoying your summer. And thank you!